My name is Chuck. I'm married to my wife Trixie. I got three daughters. Um, we've been coming to Caseville. I've been coming to Caseville since I was six months old. My great grandma bought a place on the water, uh, split it into four, and each one of her kids, uh, my grandma was one of them, had a place. Uh, they moved across the street, the two uncles next to them, my other grandma, my mom and dad down the road. So we've been walking this town since I was a little kid. Um, my parents actually met in the parking lot. A place called Chi Chi's or Billy Kay's, it's the entrance to the county park. They uh, met in the parking lot about 2 a.m. They were cruising town. So I've been coming here forever, and for the last few years or so, I, I started putting coffee in Caseville up on my Facebook page, and I put a picture of my mug, and I take a picture of it, and I'd say tag me, and people started putting up their mugshot, and I created this thing called Mugshots, and it kind of took off. I mean, all of a sudden, I had like 80 people putting up mugshots, and we do it every Sunday now. Um, so that's why the sign has the, the left hand hold the mug because that's what I do um, And it just tastes better in this town mm -hmm. It'll taste great with this shop, but something about living here is uh, special to Warren for high school Moved to Shelby Township, Utica, Wald Lake, Wixom, ended up in Rochester Hills Just sold my house in Rochester Hills um, But we've had a cottage here forever um, So I've actually got a bunch of rentals up here as well um, Take care of those people and now i got the laundromat and the coffee shop the laundromat seemed easy i'm pretty handy so fixing things is uh something i do on the side so i haven't paid anybody to fix a washer or dryer yet um and it's quarters it's pretty simple right uh, but i get bored with things about every year so i knew i had a lot of land here and i knew i could do something with it and uh, i love coffee so i bought this the laundromat in july of last year and i knew i was going to do something with it i wasn't quite sure and then I moved up here in August. My wife moved up in December. Her company let her uh, work out of the Saginaw office. So that was the time that she moved up. Um, yeah, I love it here. Yeah, a few years ago, I explored doing something down in the city with uh, fresh sandwiches and, and smoothies and things like that. But it was 2009, bad economy. Um, and I'm glad I never did it, not just because of the economy, but I don't want to be working down in the city. Uh, I'm a small town guy. I've been coming here every weekend. I'm, member of the Eagles Club, I go to the city meetings, I, I know everybody here, it, it feels good. Uh, coffee's just, I don't know, I drink it all the time, so, and a real good coffee is, is hard to find, so I found a local roaster in the thumb that's gonna blend the beans uh, to make Chuck's Roast. I didn't, I didn't grow up here, but I care about this town, yeah, I'm, I've joined the Eagles Club, I go there often, I'm, I'm in charge of entertainment now, I'm doing karaoke there. I go to the city meetings because I just want to know what's going on and see if I can make a difference. I, I don't just sit there and listen. I, I try to add some value to what's happening. So, yeah, I guess I'm community oriented. Community oriented. <laughs> well, like anyone, I hope it takes off. I suspect summers will be crazy uh, because it's it's drive through, and I already have built in business with a lot of that. But I think it's going to be crazy because of the drive through. Winters, I'm going to be open. I don't know if I'll have the same menu or not. Maybe a diminished one. But if the people want. The same things we'll keep making it you know hoping to be open in july uh, the equipment should be coming in about a week got to turn it on you know run into each other a couple times have a couple soft openings but in july for sure we'll be open i've hired a bunch of people to to help me out with this and we're going to get it up and running